Well, our friends at the Michigan Humane Society are here with answers to our viewer questions about their pets. Welcome back, Dr. Kelly Myers, a veterinarian with the Michigan Humane Society. Thank you for coming in. Oh, you're welcome. It's Love good to be here. Love having you. Oh, All right. Great. Let's start with Stephanie. I got this one. All right, go ahead. All right. She has a question about her shepherd mix who appears to enjoy eating her own poop. Yes, I said it. She is fed the recommended amount of dog food, has dog bones, enjoys occasional treats and snacks. Is this normal? So this is actually more common than you think, right? Okay. So the good news is that it probably isn't gonna cause any harm, okay? okay? As long as we're eating our own poop. If we're eating other dogs' poop, then that could be a problem because mm. that might have bacteria or parasites or something in it. Also, if your dog is eating their own poop, then they're gonna have it in their mouth, so if they're licking you on your face mm. or on your hands, so just be careful with that. But okay. more, um, more importantly, there's a, there can be a cause for this. So there's usually two reasons that we could get this. So either medical or behavioral. And I really wanted to talk about the, the medical side of this because this guy's a German Shepherd. Mm -hmm. And German Shepherds can get something called malabsorption because of exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. So lots of words that just may basically say that the pancreas isn't working correctly. So that means that it can't absorb the nutrients out of the food. So we're eating the food, but the nutrients are going right out. And so then they eat the poop because the they need those nutrients, okay? So definitely need to get this guy in to see a veterinarian to make sure that's not what's going on. But usually it's a behavioral thing. So a couple behavioral issues could be that it's just kind of fun for them, right? Like toys, they play with their poop, unfortunately. Um, or um, it could be that um, dogs mark their territory with both urine and poop. So they could be um, the opposite of marking their territory is that they have a fear of a predator in the area. Mm. So they might actually be eating their, their poops to, to get rid of that. Oh, oh yeah. animal that was a, <laughs> All right, show's <laughs> over, folks. Move along, <laughs> nothing to see here. Exactly. Our next question is from Kimberly. Her seven-year-old cat named Boo doesn't have fleas but is scratching herself so badly that her fur is falling out. Yeah, so last time we talked about hair falling out without itching. This time this guy is absolutely itching. Sounds like it's not fleas so we probably have allergies going on. It's allergy season so everybody is, you know, we're sneezing, our eyes are getting watery so with our cats and dogs they itch. So um, need to get them in to see a veterinarian to take a look at that. So other things could be like lice or um, oh, an infection or something like that, but probably more like more likely allergies. Like allergies, yeah. Yep. Our eyes are itching. Why yeah. wouldn't they be a little itchy? -ish? Exactly. It's yeah. spring. It's time. Well, our final question is from Nancy, who says that her 12-year-old dog has arthritis. He's already taking Rimadil and glucosamine and wonders if there is ways to learn, you know, doggy massages to help him further. Yeah, so arthritis is really frustrating for owners because it's so painful for dogs. And so the Rimadyl is a great start that's gonna help with the pain and inflammation. The glucosamine is gonna help lube up the joints a little bit. What arthritis is is when the cartilage starts to wear away and you have bone grinding on bone and that's really painful. So there are great other things that they can do and massage is one of them, it's fantastic. So there are a couple locations locations in the greater Detroit area that are certified canine massage therapists that can do that and then they can give you some tips to take home that you can do on your dog at home to mm -hmm. kind of give them more comfort. Other things that you can do is hydrotherapy so it's mm -hmm. about to be nice outside you can take them for a swim that's low impact builds a muscle and it, it helps with the pain um, and other things would be like acupuncture <clears throat> or acupressure so those are other things that you could do at home or um, go to a vet and do, yeah. That's great. All right, yeah. if you have questions about your pet, post a photo of them along with your question on our Live in the D Facebook page. That's right, the Michigan Humane Society has veterinary care services at their locations in Westland, Rochester Hills, and Detroit. To learn more about the services they offer and make an appointment, visit their website, michiganhumane.org. Doc, thank you so much, you always have the best answer. Yeah, you're welcome, thank have you. a great day.